Hi and uh, welcome to tutorial 38 in this series of tutorials designed to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language Programming. If you're not part of our email list then please go to markplex.com and join our email list. Um, in today's tutorial we're going to be looking a little more into the ADE DLL and uh, in particular the ability to create larger interval bars on a lower interval bar chart. So for example, this chart that you can see here is a five minute uh, Great British Pound United States dollar chart. And what we want to do is use the ADE to be able to create uh, virtual bigger bars for 60 minutes, 60 minute bars. Uh, now the, the advantage of doing this, and we're going to be doing this as an indicator, but if we did this as a uh, strategy then it would enable us to end trades intra-bar as opposed to having two data feeds on one chart uh, a uh, five minute and a 60 minute would not en enable us to do that so let's uh, first of all set up and what we're going to do we're going to insert a uh, 60 minute bar just so that we can make sure that this thing is working correctly uh, I've just inserted that I'm just going to double click on it and uh, I'm going to change it from a five minute to a 60 minute and uh, also I'm going to change the colors just so we can see those bars more clearly I'm going to make both the uh, regular and outside uh, cyan color and I'm going to do a similar thing for the down bars except I'm going to make them magenta color so let's just say OK and you can see the bars here now what I'm going to do is just move these into the main chart and uh, let them scale on the right axis so there you can see the bar so what we're now going to do is create an indicator so I'm going to go file new oops file new window and uh, we're going to do as I say this as an indicator say OK we're going to call it tutorial 38a and uh, it's going to delete some of this stuff because we don't need that and we're going to start entering it so first of all um, we're going to have an input as um, interval and uh, as I mentioned the interval we're going to use here is 60 so we've got a five minute chart we're going to create some big bars for 60 minutes the next thing we're going to need is a variable because when we call the ADE function it actually will uh, tell us whether it's been successful or not and this is this is important because if we try and access the data and the function has not been uh, successful then we will get problems so I'm creating this variable big bar succeeded I'm going to set it to false and uh, the next thing we're going to do we're going to call the ADE function so I'm going to just type in that uh, rather long named variable again and I'm going to set it equal to ADE. Now one thing uh, in order to use this you will need to set up the ADE and EL collections on your uh, computer and there are some very clear instructions as to how that, to do that on the uh, TradeStation support site. I also would suggest that uh, as part of that there are some Word documents which provide excellent uh, information about all data everywhere, ADE and collections for easy language also known as EL collections uh, I would suggest printing those out because what you're probably going to find is you're going to use those over and over again so here's the program so far I'm just going to press uh, the little uh, arrow to verify you could also press F3 and uh, it's really not doing very much at the moment but let's just go ahead and apply it to the chart that we've already created so I'm going to insert the and uh, you can see it's not really doing very much at the moment as we uh, expected but no errors there so so that's good so let's go back and add some more functionality to it so first thing we need to do is make sure that big bar succeeded because as I mentioned before if we try and access the information that's being stored here and uh, we have not created the big bars successfully then we'll get an error the other thing we're going to use is use something called ADE dot on next bar and what this does is it determines whether the uh, the next bar has been formed in other words 
um, if we didn't do this we would be needlessly calling functions um, that are not necessary to call because there is no new information so you'll see here um, the class OHLCV and the reason I'm using that is that because that is what uh, ADE derived big bar actually creates it creates that class you don't need to uh, to do anything else um, we're doing it for the same symbol so I'm just going to say get symbol name which is going to be the GBP USD and then the interval which I already mentioned okay so then so there we go we're doing two things if big bar succeeded and ADE, and ADE dot on the next bar the uh, the bigger time frame bar has occurred and then what we're going to do here is put in a few uh, things first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and retrieve the big bar data and we use that using ADE dot get OHLV which again is a, a function or rather LCV which is a function which is part of this uh, the whole ADE setup and I'm um, just going to put in the the standard inputs that uh, we're expecting here get symbol name which tells it which interval we're, we're, which symbol we're looking at of course we might be looking at a different symbol on a different chart so uh, that's the reason it asks you for that uh, ADE dot bar ID and that's part of the um, ADE thing again so that it can identify the bar that we're talking about and this has got several uh, outputs open out these are just uh, variable names low out high out close out and volume out and uh, we're going to be using some of these in a minute but uh, in order to to put them into uh, this function what we're going to need to do is create them as variables otherwise we're going to get an error so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to put a comma there I'm going to press control V to copy those variables and I'm just going to set each of them to um, zero let's just tidy up things here a little bit and uh, so let's just make each of those zero then we'll be able to continue <coughs> 